Hi, my name is Kelly and I am here to show you how to stretch your shoulders and your thoracic spine. So this is going to be a two-part stretch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lie down on our side. I'm going to put both my hands out like this. And uh, if you have a neck that bothers you, just put a pillow here or a sandbag or something. My knees and my hips are parallel. So my knees aren't down here, they're up, straight up, parallel. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hand, I'm going to go all the way back behind me to the floor, and then I'm going to come all the way back forward again. This is called the alligator. This is stretching your thoracic spine. Your thoracic spine is the spine that goes along your ribs. All the way back, nice stretch. Sometimes you can even do that hold on the floor. Stretching the spine. Good. Even if you just want to lay here and hold this like this, you're going to feel that stretch. Then you're going to come back forward, and then when we switch to the shoulder stretch, I'm going to take this bottom arm and support my neck. Then I'm going to take this arm and I'm going to point my thumb at the floor because I'm going to do a half circle or a rainbow shape above my head. So I'm going to go above my head, all the way behind me, keeping that thumb pointing to the floor the whole time and then I'm gonna come back to the front again. If you have shoulder issues, this is one of the ways that I fixed my shoulder after I tore both my rotator cuff. This is how I fixed it, this stretch. So I just keep going. So in the beginning, if you have shoulder issues, you may only be able to go this far, and that's okay. So just keep going, keep stretching, going around, stretching that shoulder, I'm keeping my thumb pointing to the floor the whole time. Don't ever push through pain, only go as far as your shoulder allows. Just keep going back and forth and eventually you will uh, improve your range of motion in that area. There, so I'm bringing it back to the front and now I'm going to switch sides. Because you want to have a balanced body, you want to just do one side. So here I go again, back into my alligator stretch. Both my hands are straight out, my knees and hips are in alignment, nice and parallel. And I'm going to take that top hand and go all the way to the floor. Oh, that stretch is amazing. Excellent. Just keep going. And don't forget to breathe. When you're stretching, you can't hold your breath. You want oxygen going into those muscles too. Back. Now you can see why it's called the alligator stretch, because you've got an alligator mouth. <laughs> all the way back. Even for a nice hold. Feel that stretch. Stretching that thoracic spine. Now I'm going to stretch my shoulders. Support my neck with the bottom arm or a pillow, up to you. Depends on your neck. Okay, thumb to the floor, over my head. I'm trying to keep that thumb to the floor all the way behind me and all the way back again. Really important behind the head if you want to keep that thumb towards the floor. So all the way behind me, I'm keeping my thumb towards the floor and then all the way back again. And again, remember, if you have a shoulder injury and it hurts to go past here, do not go past here. Go as far as your body allows you. If you keep doing this stretch, guess what? You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna eventually gonna start getting your range of motion back. So you wanna keep doing that. All the way back. Awesome. So you can do those stretches as long as you need. Um, I did kind of a quick version just to show you how to do the stretch, but it's up to you to do that every day. And remember, subscribe to my channel, and then you get notifications whenever there's a new stretch or a new video on there. So we'll see you next time.